Hi everyone, I am Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to the third section of this course. And in this video, we will detect faces in our camera preview. In this video, we will learn how to detect faces using the image analyzer of camera X. And for every detected face, we will draw a box to show this is the face in the camera preview. To detect face, we need to create the face detection instance. We can do this by using face detection dot get client function. This get client function takes face detection options as a parameter. And here we are using face detector options builder to create the face detector options. We are setting the performance mode that is fast. Then we set the contour mode that is none. And it means it will not detect the face contours. Finally, the same as the QR scanner, we will process the image with our detector instance and we will attach an on success listener. This listener will give the list of faces that is found on the image. And now we can draw a box for each face on the camera preview. That's it. Now let's try doing the same in our Android project. Before moving ahead, I will show you some changes that I have done in this project. So this is our last project and I have made few changes. So let's start with app level build.gradle file. Here I have added activity KTX, Google's Guava library and the face detection library from MLKit. Rest of the dependencies are same as the last video. Now I have moved my camera provider from activity to this view model. So I have created this camera X view model and we will get the process camera provider from this view model. And if I go to the scanner activity, I am getting the view model here and from the view model I am getting the process camera provider and I am getting the camera provider instance from this process camera provider that is inside view model and rest of the things are same except our start function. So now I am not passing any higher order function here and what I am doing is I am displaying the QR code information inside the scanner activity only. So if I open the layout file, then here I have this overlay and here we will display the QR code information. So now my scanner activity is a separate activity and I will create buttons for every feature that I am going to do in this project. For example, if you open activity main binding, then here we had this open QR scanner and I have created one more button to open face detection. So I also created this package to put scanner activity. Now, I will create a new package for my face detection. So let's create a new package. I will name it face detection and inside this package, I will create my activity that I will use for face detection. So again, I will use the empty activity. I will name it face detection activity like this. Now inside this activity, again, I need the camera X preview. So let's go to the design. And here I will define a preview view with and height as 0 dp and I will set the constraint to fill the complete screen width and height. So I can go to design and simply set 0 to all the constraints. So 0 here and 0 here. Now this is my preview view. Now whenever a face is detected, I need to display an overlay rectangle and for this I will define a face box overlay. 
so I have already created a class that I will use here so the class is face box overlay so this is the face box overlay class and this is a custom view inside this class I have another class that is called face box and it is an abstract class for now I will skip this class and inside this custom view I have a face boxes and it is list of this abstract class so we have list of face box and for every box that I want to draw I will call this add function whenever I want to clear all the boxes from the overlay view I will call this function clear inside the function on draw I am drawing all the face boxes that I have inside this list now let's come to this class face box so this is an abstract class and I have to define an implementation of this class and then only I can draw boxes inside this class I have the abstract fun draw that I am calling here so I am calling this function I will define the implementation later so this function will draw the box now the main function here is this get box rect so the box that I get from the MLcat library I need to scale the box and then only I can display it properly so I need to calculate the scaled box before drawing it and here I am calculating the scale value and I am creating a scaled box that I am returning so this is very simple calculation you can get the source code and now I will use the implementation of this face box to display a face box above this preview view so what I need to do is I need to create another view that is our face box overlay and inside this custom view we will draw the boxes now let's go back to face detection activity first I will define the binding so we have the binding and we need all the things that we have in scanner activity so I can copy everything from here so I will copy all these things except binding and I will paste it here now I also need everything from here so let's copy and paste it is the same thing we need the camera selector and this time I will use the front facing camera now I also need to copy all the things from here so we need we also need this companion object because we need to start this activity so instead of scanner activity we will write face detection activity and here also face detection activity and I will change the function name to start so I will simply call face detection activity dot start now I will again go to scanner activity and I will copy bind camera preview because we need to bind the camera preview we also need to bind the input analyzer so I will copy this thing as well we also need the process image proxy function so I will copy everything we do not need to show the barcode here because it is face detection so let's paste it here like this and instead of this scanner activity dot tag we will use this tag now everything is fine and inside this function that is bind input analyzer we will not create the barcode scanner so I will delete it and inside the function process image proxy we need the face detector instead of this barcode scanner so we have face detector now instead of processing the image with barcode scanner we will write detector dot process 
and instead of barcodes we will get faces and for every face we will draw a box above the camera preview but before doing it we will fix the issue here so we need the face detector so we will create it here so we have detector equals to face detection dot get client now this function takes the face detector options so we will use face detector options dot builder we will set the mode to fast so we have performance mode as fast and we will also set the contours to none and finally we will build the options now we have the detector and instead of the barcode scanner we will pass detector like this now we have all the faces and for every face we will draw the box but first we will clear the existing boxes so we have binding dot and i think we also need to give this face box overlay an id so we have id as face box overlay now let's go back to the activity and we have face box overlay dot clear now we will loop through all the faces so we have faces dot for each and for every face we will create a face box so what we need is we need an implementation of this face box so let's create a new face box to this class we will pass the overlay that is our face box overlay we will pass the face that we have detected or got from the mlkit library so we have private val face of type face and make sure you are using face from mlkit library that means this face that is from google mlkit so we have this face and we also need a rect that is our image proxies rect so we have image rect of type rect like this now we will inherit face box overlay dot face box we will pass the overlay and we will override the on draw function and to draw we need paint object so first we will create private val paint and we have paint apply we will set the color to the color that we want in this case i am using red we will set the style to stroke because i want to draw outlined rectangle only so we have paint dot style dot stroke and finally we will set the stroke width and i will set it to 6 you can change the values now inside the draw function i will get the scaled rect so i will write rect equals to get box rect and here we need to pass the image rect width so we have the image rect here so i will pass image rect width equals to image rect dot width dot to float and the same way i will pass the height and finally we need to pass the bounding box so this is the bounding box from the face object that we got from the mlkit library so we have face bounding box equals to face dot bounding box like this now we have the rect that we can draw so we will simply write canvas dot draw so it is draw rect we will pass the calculated rect and the paint and that's it we have our face box now we will go to face detection activity and after clearing all the existing boxes we will create our face box so we have box equals to face box and we will pass the overlay so we have pointing dot face box overlay for the next parameter we will pass the face that we got from the mlkit library and the last parameter is the image rect and we will get it from our image proxy so we will write image proxy dot crop rect like this 
now we have the box and we will draw the box to this face box overlay and we will simply call binding dot face box overlay dot add and we will pass the box and that's it it will draw the face box so our face detection activity is ready we just need to launch this activity so i will go to main activity and here i will write binding dot button open face detect dot set on click listener and in this case i will write face detection activity dot start now here i am considering we have the permissions already but you need to change the logic here because when we will click open scanner then only we are requesting the permission and in this case i am assuming we have the permission and we are just launching the activity so it is okay for now but you will get the updated code in the source code the link to the source code is given in the description of this video so you can check the updated code for main activity as well so now let's test our application so this is our application now let's click on open face detection so you can see it is working absolutely fine if i move my face it works fine so the face detection is working and now i will close the application so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any problem confusion or question you can leave it on the comments below and i will see you in the next one and make sure you like this video and share this video with your friends thanks for watching this is bilal khan now signing off